Things with the pandemic are moving super quickly. The CDC now recommends that everyone wears masks. I filmed this video a little while ago, and what this video is about is if dog belly belts could be used as a mask. I want to give you guys the results before the video even begins so nobody gets hurt. These are not good solutions for masks. They, do, they are not breathable at all. But I hope you guys still watch the video. The reason is, is that we used some tests in the video, mainly one breathability test that we came up with that can be used on any mask. We actually used it on an N95 mask to test the breathability and this works for any material. Also, again, it shows you how to test different things to see if you can use them for masks. And even though you may be able to put these on and it seems like you can breathe through it, there is a material in there that is not breathable. I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video, uh, and please try to stay safe during these times. With the coronavirus pandemic, there is a huge mask shortage, and people have been trying to find different solutions um, for it. One of the main people is C. Michael Gibson. If you have Twitter, I totally recommend going following him. Um, he's been posting a lot of great information about um, the masks and the whole coronavirus pandemic in general. He is a Harvard medical professor. He was also the first person that we saw mention MacGyver Care, which is basically trying to find um, regular day things that can be used to make things such as masks or other medical, um, important medical instruments that are going to be used. Um, so on a completely different thread by a different person, we saw a comment saying that dog belly belts might work as masks. I had absolutely no idea what those even were, so we looked them up and they're basically some sort of dog diaper, but it's only specifically meant to catch the pee in male dogs that have incontinence problems. So we went to the local pet store to go pick some up, um, we picked up the small size which is uh, about $20 for a pack of two. Um, the reason why, there is multiple reasons why I wanted to pick them up. One was to see if they were breathable. The original person who posted the comment said that theirs were breathable, but then another person said that theirs wasn't. It looked like the possible reason as to why is there is a plastic coating on it like you would get on a windbreaker jacket. Um, but this one for the company that we picked up so fresh, it is actually breathable and it doesn't look that bad. Like, um, anyways though, the second reason why we wanted to cut into it is to see if there is something called melt blown non-woven polypropylene and what that is it is the same material that is used in surgical masks and n95 masks um so a lot of people that think that these are paper or a fabric and no it's this polypropylene so the surgical mask what it is is that there's a layer of polypropylene and then a layer of fabric to allow the bendability and then probably another layer of the polypropylene and that's how this one um, is put together and then for the N95 mask either this outside is fiberglass which is another thing that is used um, or it is a thicker form of polypropylene and then the inside is polypropylene um, as you can see it's the same material as the surgical mask. So what we're going to be seeing is if it is inside of here and the reason why we think it actually might be with our research is that polypropylene is also found in a lot of other things such as female sanitary pads and actual diapers. Um, it, we looked on the box to see if it said it but it didn't. All it said on here was a moisture wicking liner, a super absorbent microfiber pads, a leak proof barrier, and a quick dry outer fabric. One of these could be polypropylene, and so what my idea is, is that this area here, as you can see, there's the circle, and that's where all these pieces would be. So I'm planning on cutting into this with um, an X-Acto knife and seeing if there is polypropylene or some sort of non-woven melt blown material inside. Okay, so now it's time for the doggy diaper dissection. So I'm gonna just try to cut this top layer only. Okay, I think I just have. Oh, it's being very resistant. This is 
not the proper way to use it. <laughs> okay, that should be enough. So, first thing just looks like oh, it's okay, it's sewn together. So what this layer is, if you can see it, is it's a like a microfiber cloth is what it looks like to me, or like a kind of like a towel material. It feels like a towel. So for better access, I'm going to cut a little bit more into this top fabric so that I can get in easier. I'm gonna grab my industrial scissors because I know I'm gonna have adults yelling at me <laughs> saying that I'm not doing this as safe as I should. So this is safer option. There we go, a lot cleaner cut. Okay, so we're gonna cut into this next layer. This is reminding me of something like from a fantasy. Anyway, so let's cut into this next layer. The next level looks exactly the same. Looks like the exact same material. So this is basically exactly like what a tea towel is or a dish towel is. Um, but there should still be more layers because it said three layers inside and then the fabric. Um, so we're gonna continue cutting in, seeing if we can find anything else. Okay, and so here's kind of like a plastic-ish material. Um, again, it kind of feels something that you feel on jackets almost. Okay, so out of curiosity, I'm just going to try to breathe through this, I'm guessing is the leak-proof barrier that it talked about, seeing if that itself is breathable. It actually feels hard to breathe through. As a better test to make sure to see if this is actually breathable or not, I'm gonna cut out, at least try to cut out a small circle of it. The best way is gonna be cutting off these pieces first. So I think what this, what this part is, is the moisture wicking liner, is this top black part. These were the microfiber pads. Little pieces are fine.
Ну да. So I'm going to hold this up to my nose and see if I can breathe through it. It feels hard to breathe through. Um, kind of hurt my nose a little bit with just that little bit. Um, so to show you guys, this is what woven looks like. You can see all the little threads. Usually with woven materials, you should be able to breathe through it, so it's a little weird that I couldn't. Um, it's also a little weird because we could breathe through the belt when we put it up to our face. So we're going to be doing a little bit more um, testing to see why that is and to figure it out why we could actually breathe through it. So we think we came up with a good test. We wrap the material a little bit around a straw and try to blow through it and try to move some of the particles that got left over. If you see this little speck here, um, I'm going to be trying to blow that and so you see if there's any air going through it. So as you can see, the particle did not move, meaning that this is not breathable. We're thinking that it's some sort of nylon or a polyester or a micropolyester. And if you remember when I mentioned windbreaker fabric, this is what it is. So basically, this is not breathable, and we believe that the only reason why the belt was breathable was because there might have been air coming in on the side. Um, we were really hopeful for this because, um, like I tried to show before, I'm going to pull out the other one to show this again. The elastic part on um, this area here that it had actually fit around um around the mouth and the face really well um just like the N95 masks do um it also it goes right around here and it kind of it fits against the face really well um it is it may be a little bit better than a cloth mask and more towards a surgical mask the reason why is because of these microfiber pads um there was a study that showed that layering two um, tea claws together is um, similar to the it would block the same about the same amount of particles as a surgical mask. And when I'm saying tea towels, I'm kind of talking about specifically um, dish towels. But the thing is, because of this material, you would probably have to take a needle and puncture holes through, meaning that you're increasing the pore size. So it really might not work very well. So is this a good MacGyver care option? I wouldn't say so. Without alteration, it wouldn't work that well. So I would not recommend trying to use the dog belly belts if you are trying to protect yourself from the virus.